Did you see what those two in Mommy's tummy were just doing? I'm only crossing this line. You are not allowed to cross this line either. You to keep fighting in Mommy's tummy. You can't be causing trouble when you grow up. Identical twins each have their own amniotic sac. As their bodies grow bigger, the space gets smaller and smaller. Unconsciously stretching might affect the other. They aren't actually fighting. Don't move. I think I hear something. A rhythmic thump, thump, thump. Are we aliens or something? This heartbeat, the top one, is mom's. The bottom one is yours. But why does it make me so sleepy? Two babies in the mother's womb can hear each other's heartbeats. I said that after birth. Putting twins next to each other calms them down more easily. You're crushing me again. Give me some space. I'll lean up. You squeeze down. Let's coexist peacefully. Two little princesses causing chaos. Mom can take it. One big heart has to supply blood. To two little hearts and nourish your brains. Mom can't hold on much longer. Hey, how did you to cross the line? Thank you all for being here. Just like that, we're fast asleep. One last fun fact. Apparently, after twins are born, some can still remember each other's spot in the mother's belly. I am Garden of Knowledge, wishing to be your companion and wishing you good health. How to avoid pre-cooked meals when taking your baby out. I know. Look for these kinds of restaurants. The ones with a service package style. Wait, it looks like a private kitchen. But a big restaurant like this only has one chef? There is only one truth. The real chef is actually the microwave oven in the back. What's wrong with a microwave? I can get a dish out in just one minute. And it still tastes great. So when you cook for the baby, can you use less salt and sauce? <laughs> baby food and kids' meals should be bland. Parents have to worry. They won't let us choose the flavor. A dish served in one minute is very likely pre-cooked food. It turns out it's just frozen food. Taken out. Heat it up and given to the baby. Some pre-cooked dishes might contain a lot of flavorings and other additives. Adults might be able to eat it. But it's very hard for children to digest them. But what if the baby is hungry now? Where can I get fresh food right away? Don't worry. Ask the restaurant to prepare simple steamed dishes on the spot. Then always bring your own emergency food portions. Just in case. One last tip. Exposing your baby to natural ingredients and mild flavors early on will make them less picky eaters later. I am Garden of Knowledge, your family's source of information. It's the first day of the holiday. I'll sleep in for 10 more minutes. Ugh. Those 10 minutes turned into the evening. I thought I only slept for one minute, but it turned out to be an hour. Have you ever felt like you slept through time? Through time. I remember dreaming I traveled through multiple parallel universes. I have to go back to my dream and save the world. Can't sleep anymore. This is sleep inertia. When you snooze for too long and are suddenly woken up, your brain is forced to boot up. But the rest of your body hasn't fully started yet, so you easily freeze up. Oh no. I put face wash on my toothbrush. Catching up on sleep does help your body recover. But if a person oversleeps, their metabolism slows down. Excess carbon dioxide builds up in the blood, which can lead to a lack of oxygen, causing headaches and nausea. No, I still have to boil the water. Let me do it. It wouldn't be good if you burned yourself while you're groggy. To break free from sleep inertia, you can increase the room's brightness, open the window for fresh air, and eat foods rich in iron to improve blood oxygen levels, such as eggs, soy products, fresh fruits and vegetables, and a good glass of milk. All that can help you recover quickly. I think my head is finally clearing up. Honey, you hit me just now, didn't you? I'm Garden of Knowledge. Please like and share this video to spread the knowledge. The saying goes, left eye twitch, you'll get rich, trust me. Right eye twitch, trust yourself. That's right. Common eyelid twitching is usually due to dry and fatigued eyes. Look, there's a sandstorm brewing inside your eye. What is up my eye? Overworking your eyes reduces blinking, causing daily dust to build up on the eyeball surface. The eyelid twitching is a signal reminding you to rest. Have I really not rested my eyes for that long? Ugh, I'm so dry. Just blink. It's fine. Blink after he gets off work. Sister Bai's company just landed a 10 million contract, and she needs you to confirm the contract details. <sighs> Finally home. Mom, look at the sunflower I drew today. Oh my gosh. Let mom take a good look. <sighs> Trust me, just relax now. Right at this moment. First time being a director. Let's save this. Wow, my eye is twitching really badly all of a sudden. So when your eye is twitching, put down your phone. You can use a warm compress on your eyes. Eat foods rich in calcium and magnesium. Drink a good glass of milk and get good sleep. However, if rest doesn't help, 
It could also be caused by certain medical conditions. Remember to see a doctor. Is your eye ever twitched like that? Leave a comment below. Hey, stop that! Eating barbecue three times a day could be chronic suicide. <laughs> What's this smoke? Absorbing oxygen. Releasing carbon dioxide. Well, just absorb it first. Why would you absorb something you don't even know what it is? I don't care. I can't even read this word. I'm absorbing it anyway. When we eat barbecue, we ingest harmful substances produced by the tar, benzopyrene. These substances can't be naturally digested by the body, so the liver has to help detoxify them. Don't worry, no matter what it is. I'll break it all down. Also, meat doesn't just contain benzopyrene. Charred chicken and beef also produce heterocyclic amines. Over time today, nobody gets a break. The liver has a powerful enzyme system. They oxidize or hydrolyze most chemical substances. Uh, I'm exhausted! Over time without even a sip of water! Hey, grass! I hear water. Round face! Wait! No! Drinking alcohol is for the brain's pleasure. But the liver silently sacrifices everything. But if you repeatedly stress it out, it can lead to poor health or even illness. If you make me work over time without pay, I'm going to turn evil. Oh no! That's it! We're done for, guys! So after eating barbecue, make sure to eat some. Antioxidant fruits rich in vitamin C. All foods rich in sulfur compounds, like garlic, onion, and mustard greens can all help your liver. Digest toxins faster! Do I really have to eat these things? I knew you wouldn't like them. Drinking milk in moderation can also help your liver recover. Wow, this milk has protein, plus vitamins A and B, calcium and minerals. I'm all better. I'm Garden of Knowledge. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more cool facts. Wow, so many little flowers. Good morning, little red flower. You smell so nice, little white flower. Is the flower butterfly your best friend? Uh-uh, I can't. Mom, I'm itchy. Huh? A child has a pollen allergy. Let's go to the hospital. Spring is here. Kids with pollen allergies need to be extra careful with protection. Wear a mask when going outside. And try to stay indoors when the pollen count is high. If the symptoms are severe, go to the hospital right away. Also, drink plenty of milk to boost immunity. And eat lots of fruits and vegetables to supplement vitamin C. Wishing all children good health and a safe spring season. There's so much leftover picnic food. Let's pack it up and take it home. A few moments later... Mommy, I want a kebab skewer. Why didn't you eat it earlier? Let me have some corn, Mom. No. You can have a lollipop, though. No way. I have to eat it. I have to eat it. Yeah. Eh? Why is there a pothole here? You just sit tight? Now do you understand why I wouldn't let you eat? When the car jolts or stops suddenly, food with sticks out skewers can easily injure a child. Kebabs, skewers, hot dogs, corn on the cob, lollipops, and similar foods should be avoided. Grapes, nuts, jelly, and foods that can easily cause choking shouldn't be eaten either. Eating while riding in a car is just not a good idea. Wait until the little one gets home.